this item's cognitive impairment test. That is CCIT. It is a chart that is used in addition with news. It's going to be used while you're carrying out your assessment on a patient who is having a Simon disease. All right? So it is simple, just like we've mentioned in the PHQ-9 of charts. This chart is also simple. All you need to do here is to sum up the total. Already, the scores would have been pre-filled for you. Just sum up the total. That is all you need to do here. Just confirm with the patient after you might have carried out your A to E assessment on this patient. Janet, could you please confirm if anybody has come to, to take you through this chart and the patient will tell you yes. All right. Then you pick one or two where the patient is scoring high. All right. Like, okay, for instance, uh, Janet, where you were asked what, what year it is, you were unable to remember what year it is. All right. That makes you to be scoring four points there. The patient will tell you yes. You know why this is happening, Janet? I don't know. I cannot even remember. Brain was blacked out. Okay. So you will just reassure the patient. All right, Janet, I understand. All right. At some point, we, we have been there to feel this way. It is nothing to worry about. We are going to be taking proper measure to make sure you are fine again, if that is okay by you. So with your consent, is it okay to refer you to a memory clinic or a neurological team for proper management? And the patient will tell you yes. Yeah. So you pick, if you're, you still look at your time and you still have time, pick another component there. All right. Uh, Janet, I could also see here where you were asked to count backward from 20 to 1. You were unable to count it, unable to count it correctly. And you have also four points there. All right. You know why this is happening to you. The patient may tell you, I don't know. I just know I, I, I lose my mind and, or, or I had a thought block or something like that then you still reassure, I understand this is happening to you. It could be anybody, all right? So if it is okay with your consent, would you be willing to uh, be referred to a memory clinic or the neurological team? And it will tell you yes, all right? So that is that about that. All you need to do in this chat is simple, total the score, pick a component or two, discuss it with the patient. This will give you an insight to what you are going to plan this patient on in your next station. I hope you have learned something. Until I see you in another video, keep practicing OSCE.